it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Money Wednesday and Friday. And spring, we are so thankful it has finally sprung around here. I've been thinking about the outside of the she shed and how I can kind of bring it into more of a beautiful state because we've been working on the building itself or the inside and now I'm really thinking about what kind of flowers I can put out and how I can dress up the shed itself. And if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about with the she shed, I will put a playlist linked up in the iCard so you can go check that out there. So I do have one window on the front of the shed and it needed some dressing up and I thought a flower box would be the absolute perfect way. So today I'm going to take you through all the steps on how to make a really simple and basic flower box. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was measure the width of my window. You can see here, my window is actually 30 inches wide. So depending on how wide your window is, that's how long you wanna make your box. I'm using cedar pickets from the hardware store to create my box. It's a hardwood, so it will hold up and withstand through harsh weather and temperature changes. And the first thing I did was square up the ends of my pickets and then cut each piece down to size. Now, if your window happens to be 30 inches wide like mine, then here are the measurements that I used. I cut two at 30 and a quarter inches wide, two at five inches wide, and one at 27 and a half inches wide. The two longest pieces are for the front and the back. The next longest piece is for the bottom, and then the smallest two pieces are for the two sides. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper to sand down all of the pieces. It's a rough enough sandpaper that it's going to cut through all of the harshness of the hardwood, but it's also going to smooth it down nice and smooth for when we go to paint. I'm using a medium sized drill bit to add some holes to the bottom piece. That way we will have some drainage once we plant flowers in the box. To build this flower box, I'm gonna be using a combination of wood glue. This is my glue bot. I'll link that down in the description box if you're interested in that. This is also one and a quarter inch brad nails I'll be using with my 18 gauge brad nailer. I am attaching the two end pieces to the bottom piece first. So using a little bit of wood glue on those side pieces, butting them up against the ends. And then I added three brad nails into each side. the front I tilted it onto its side so I could add a bead of glue around the edge before adding the front piece on tilted it back to the bottom so I'd have a nice flush edge before attaching it with my brad nails and once I have it tilted onto the side you can see I have a three-quarter inch gap on each side that really adds a pretty decorative touch to the end result of this project Then I attach the back piece the same way I did the front. And this is a look at the completed piece. It's all finished and built. Because I added so many nail holes to this piece and I wanted to paint it, I did decide to go ahead and add some spackling into the nail holes to make sure it had a nice even finish. So I added that to the nail holes and then just let it dry completely before I came back to paint the piece. Once the spackle dried, I hit it with a sander to smooth everything out. And then I used some latex paint that we had on hand and gave the entire thing two coats, letting it dry in between. I 
I did let this piece sit and dry overnight so I knew it was completely dry before adding two coats of a clear matte finish to seal it all in and make it weatherproof. Then we used a three inch construction screw to permanently affix this box into the siding underneath the window. So we did use a drill bit to pre-drill holes through the siding and through the box before adding those three inch construction screws to permanently affix the box to the siding. And here is a look at the box after it was completely attached and before the fun part which is planting the flowers. So here's a look at the pretty violas I chose to add to this box and that is really what gave this whole piece life and so much color. And just for fun, let's look back at the she shed before we added the brand new flower box as well as some new shutters. I will have a tutorial on how to create your own shutters coming up very soon, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But I just love this cute little pop of color that the flowers give to the front of the she shed. I can't wait to add extra little accessories in there from time to time, just depending on the season or holiday. I also love that it balances out the look of the front of the shed and it just makes my little cottage that much more special. I would love to hear down in the comments below, what are your favorite flowers to grow? I really don't have any kind of green thumb whatsoever, so hopefully the flowers that I chose, I'm able to keep alive. You'll have to stay tuned. You can find me on Instagram and I can keep you updated and posted there. I hope that this tutorial inspired you. Please take a second and give this video a thumbs up for me. If you haven't yet, you can click the subscribe button next to me and I'll have more great spring DIYs linked below that you'll wanna check out. And make sure to come find me on Facebook and on Instagram for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.